What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to discuss my impressions of the Final Fantasy Platinum demo that was released a few days ago by Square. Now, that being said, I've never tried any of these new Final Fantasy demos. I never played the Type Zero demo. I never even really watched any of the gameplay. So I went into this thing completely green, not knowing what to expect, but I had a degree of optimism that after 10 years of development, we'd have something good on our hands. So sit back, kick back in your chair, and listen to this review. I hope you guys enjoy it. Square has had a really rough time with their pivotal franchise for the last few years, with the lukewarm reception of Final Fantasy XIII and its subsequent sequel. Square was planning an offshoot of that game titled Final Fantasy vs. XIII, which later was tabled for a later date in a newer console generation. All that was in 2006, and here we are now, 10 years later, with a new console generation and an aptly renamed Final Fantasy XV. Final Fantasy XV's release date was just revealed to be September 30th of 2016. And during that revelation at the uncovered Final Fantasy XV event, they also revealed that their Platinum demo was here to be played. So I downloaded it and I played it and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. The demo begins with a very cute creature telling the main character Noctis that this demo is a dream. And in order to wake up, you'll need to complete some obstacles that lie before you. You walk, run, and jump through early obstacles grabbing gems that are collected automatically when your character gets within a certain proximity. Let me start by saying that this game is graphically very stunning. The character models, the animations, the environment all blew me away playing this demo. Uh, there's certain areas of this demo that really caught me by surprise, especially the dining room area. The game graphically is just eye-shatteringly beautiful, and I was totally impressed. The frame rate was solid as well, and the controls seemed tight. You soon learn how to equip your weapons to the D-pad, and you see just how easy the battle system works. The demo weapons put a big smile on my face, though. Square, I see what you did there. As you can see, the weapons in this demo are not real in the sense of what you'd expect from a Final Fantasy game. But instead, they look and feel very much like what you'd expect from a Kingdom Hearts game. And I suspect Square wanted to show us that Kingdom Hearts 3 is well on its way, and that this battle system can easily be tweaked for an epic Kingdom Hearts experience. I have to say it. I feel that Square was giving Final Fantasy fans and Kingdom Hearts fans a taste of what's to come in this dream sequence. And with that said, I'm so excited for both games after this demo. You see, I feel like with this game being a dream sequence, that Square decided to do whatever they wanted to to kind of bridge the gap or bridge the worlds of Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. And as you can see in this demo, the weapons are clearly inspired by Kingdom Hearts, and some of the enemies even look like the darkness from the Kingdom Hearts series. During this demo, I turn into a beast, a giant creature with horns and a terrible sense of direction. I'm sure we'll see more of these summons, and while the idea of real-time summons is awesome, this creature in particular frustrated me with its slow movement and inability to lock onto targets effectively. There is also a dining room area in the demo where you are shrunk down to the size of a toy. The sense of scale in this area is amazing, and it made me feel like I was a toy in this gigantic world, and I must say that nailing that atmosphere had to be hard as hell, but damn, they sure nailed it. Later in the demo, young Noctis is turned back into his adult form, given real weapons and let loose on a real dangerous boss. Now let me say this, the fight with the boss was surely the highlight of the demo, because gaining the ability to teleport wherever I threw my sword was exhilarating, and going head to head with an enemy that actually was very close to killing me was exciting. The demo ends with Noctis escaping the dream and returning to the real world. So, okay, my thoughts on this demo. Or that it was awesome. Now, some of the people out there are a little upset at this demo for its apparent lack of content, weapons, spells, and modes. And while I understand these points, let me just tell you what I think this demo is and what Square has set out to do. With so many games being released lately that are broken and having engine issues, I think that Square wanted to show their fans that they have crafted a game that not only looks stunning, but the game that also runs well and has a good frame rate. Square has millions of gamers that have been eagerly clamoring to get their hands on the games that the company has announced. Games like Final Fantasy XV, Kingdom Hearts 3, and the hotly anticipated Final Fantasy VII Remake all get gamers hype. And with the current climate of even AAA titles being released with major issues, I think that the company wants us to know that they are in good hands and they're being crafted by a team that cares about their legacies. 
Playing this demo not only got me hyped for Final Fantasy XV's imminent release in September, but it also got me extremely excited for Kingdom Hearts 3. And seeing this engine and playing on it for the very first time has gotten me even more confident in what we can expect them to bring to the table in the Final Fantasy remake. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you guys had an opportunity to play this game, please leave your thoughts below. I know a lot of people like it, a lot of people don't, and everybody has their own reasons. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for this channel, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.